Hello folks, it's Jamil Swift for Gunstock Reviews. I'm here in Peoria, Arizona at the Calton USA range. Uh, last year we did a test between the Six Sour P365 Standard, the SAS, and the XL. This one happens to be the one that comes with a Romeo Zero. Um, and then a couple of viewers, basically I compared the pistols and he, which, how they felt and how they shot and all that. But some of the shooter, uh, some of the viewers had a question about the performance, given that the SAS is ported and the XL has a longer barrel. How would they compare ballistically and performance wise in gel or velocity wise. So I decided to do that, just that test. Today we're going to do the ballistic gel test. The difference between uh, velocity, we're not gonna test velocity at this time. We're gonna use a chronograph for that. We're gonna go ahead and shoot the same ammo at the same distance into clear ballistics gel. Okay, before anybody says anything about clear ballistics gel. Okay, it's not meant, we're not testing the ammo, we're not testing the guns, we're not testing anything else. Clear ballistics gel is not ballistic ordnance gel, okay? It doesn't hold the same properties. It is about 90, 90 to 95% to the ordnance gel. It just doesn't, will not create the a permanent wound channel like ordnance gel does. And sometimes it has bounce back as the bullet goes and bounces back a little bit. But because we're comparing the guns to each other, we're gonna be using the Crown, uh, V-Crown ammo from Six Hour, which is the 115 grain bullet. They say here it goes about a thousand feet per second. Um, we'll test that later with a uh, different, uh, with a chronograph. But here we're just trying to figure out how deep it goes, how it expands into that same gel. So we're go I'm gonna start first of all with the P365 standard pistol. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a magazine here, put that ammo that I told you about here into the pistol, and I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it. First one, standard P365. We're gonna go check it out. We're back, we're gonna shoot the SAS. To tell you about the first one, it penetrated almost to the 16 uh, inch, where well, the gels are 16 inches deep, so it's about 15 inches. We're gonna see how the, um, the SAS, which has ports in it, compares with the same ammunition at the same distance. See how it goes, let's try it. Let's go check it out. Okay, we're back. Believe it or not, the ported uh, round went actually a little deeper. It changes back and forth depending on how the bullet enters, so I'm gonna call it the same. So let's go try the XL now, which is a little bit longer of a barrel, longer sight radius, and this one, of course, like I said before, comes from the factory with a Romeo Zero on it. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go check it out. This one here on the left is the one from the standard. The one on the bottom on the right is the one from the SAS, and the one on the top is the one from the XL. Um, I mean, actually they all went about the same This one, This one has a little bounce, more bounce back than these did. So I'm gonna call these, all of them around between 14 and a half to 15 inches deep. Uh, there's no considerable difference between them. I can see that they perform great, they opened up great. I'm not gonna say that it goes deeper or, or, light, uh, or shorter or whatever. They are about the same performance wise in ballistic gel. So what am I gonna say is like, this uh, ammo is optimized for the micro pistols. So I will say this is a great ammo to have with your six hour P365. It's made specifically for a 365. It's optimized for micro pistols. What can I say? They're, I mean, I could shoot three, four, five rounds of each and see how they perform, but they're not gonna change. They're gonna go about between 14 and 15 inches. So. Um, and this is not a scientific test. We're doing it for entertainment purposes. We're just gonna try to figure out if they actually, how they perform compared to each other. So, like I said, stay tuned to Gunstock Reviews. Be safe and have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. 
please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.